Most of the people involved in vegetable production know that the whitefly damages and kills crops by sucking their sap, spreading viruses, and excreting a sticky substance called honeydew. In 1992, the sweet potato whitefly, Lamisia tabasi, was considered an occasional virus vector. Today, it is one of the main pests in desert melons and vegetables. Spraying is a fairly effective control method, but whiteflies could develop resistance and new biotypes have been discovered recently. That's why research scientist and extension specialist John Palumbo at the University of Arizona Yuma Agricultural Center is conducting several efficacy experiments developing new methods to improve white fly population management. There are different methods of monitoring adult sweet potato whitefly. Yellow sticky traps can be used to monitor adult flight activity. Sampling for adults and immature sweet potato whitefly should be centered in young foliage. The most practical method to sample whitefly for PCAs is by turning leaves carefully when the insect is not so active, which is early in the morning. This method is also used in our experiments at the U of A for evaluating the efficacy of the different new chemicals against sweet potato whitefly. I would like to briefly describe in this video a different method used by researchers inside and outside the U of A to sample their cantaloupe whitefly efficacy experiments, adult whitefly sampling with vacuum. This is done in the Yuma Ag Center using a heavy-duty two-gallon cordless wet-dry vacuum, which runs with an 18-volt battery. Plastic cups are properly labeled with the treatment and replication number for insect collection. Cups are placed in the suction hose. These cups have a nylon mesh at the bottom, which prevent the insects from going into the vacuum deposit, so they are collected into the cup. We vacuum three seconds each plant. The number of plants per experimental plot is determined by Dr. Palumbo. Usually five plants is sufficient with a good whitefly population. Then we put the lids on the cups. In order to identify by species and count such high numbers, we place the cups in a freezer for about an hour. Then the content is taken out and evaluated under a stereo microscope. The data obtained is then analyzed by the researcher. Obviously, the lower numbers are the most efficacious products for whitefly control. Finally, recommendations are offered to PCAs and growers. 